Alrighty, you home frogs. What is going on, everyone? It's your boy here, the Yankee Hardcore Pipe Bomb Messiah here with you. Of course, your personification of excellence when it comes to sports talk here on YouTube on this. Uh, I know it is a late Friday, August 16th, 2024. Um, I initially had some plans to do the weather video today, but after thinking about it, I'm just going to take... Um, a night off when it comes to the tropical outlook videos and um gonna do something better today and of course you know today was the start of the soccer season uh the english premier league my manchester united defeated uh tony khan's fulham one nothing i did see that game but i want to give you my prediction my early prediction for the boston celtics 2024-25 season of course, you know, recently the schedule for the NBA came out, and um, I'm going to say this about the Boston Celtics. Um, there's a lot of people out there that say that this team can win over 58 games this year, even though they are the reigning and defending champions. I think... They're going to go under 58, and they're going to win 56 games here um, going into the new season. That's what my prediction is. A um, couple of reasons why I'm going with that. Number one, you have Przingis. He's going to miss at least 25 games to start the season. And the Boston Celtics... They have had solid injury luck. That's what they had last season. And when you got players that have logged in more total minutes, there's only six teams that have done that in the NBA. And you know that the usual suspects are coming back for the Boston Celtics. You got Derek White, uh, Drew Holiday. We know Jason Tatum staying because he had that super max extension, and then uh, Jalen Brown, and Boston, the thing about the Boston Celtics is, um, when you kind of look at why I think they're going to win 56 games this season, you look at the competition that they're going to have, and, they, and don't get me wrong, they're still going to be the best in the Eastern Conference. You got the Philadelphia 76ers, who got Paul George in the offseason. New York Knicks. I think the Knicks are going to be a little bit better this year. So, those are really the two teams that I'm really worried about when it comes to the NBA. But, again, I'm not knocking on the Boston Celtics. I mean, this is a team that does have a chance to repeat. And if you look at last season, they had the best eight-man rotation. You even got Al Horford, Sam Hauser, and Preyton Pritchard. Plus, you know, you got a little bit of the youth over there as well. So, this team, they're still the best. And they're still the most talented and most balanced team in the NBA. So, that's why I'm going to go with the Boston Celtics here. Um... Like I said, 56 wins this year. Yeah, there's going to have a little bit of a competition there with the 76ers and the Knicks, but they will hold them off. On. And we'll see what they do in the um, the postseason. So, it's pretty much what I got to say, guys, when it comes to the season. Um, that's just my early predictions. And uh, comment down below. Until then, I'm out, guys. Peace.